Great Big Story, a new podcast about the delightful, the surprising, and the untold stories all around us. Listen to our latest episodes wherever you get your favorite podcasts. The Jefferson Memorial represent to you, as you argue, for it to come down. Well, I think a lot of these public statues were put in place for the wrong reasons and to glorify people who were flawed. I think we have to start looking at these people as human beings, not gods, not idols to be looked upon. And then we need to have representation of freedom, which, you know, they said the Jefferson Memorial is supposed to represent that, but yet he didn't do anything to help create a free and equal, equal society for people. So if they are going to keep the Jefferson Memorial, I think that they have to do what Lucian is saying that they're doing with Monticello, show their complete and entire story mm -hmm. of of who this man was that yes people have been giving him a pass for years because he helped found this country but he also helped do it on the backs of slaves mm. whether that was their blood sweat and tears that they had to put in to do it you are a descendant of you know uh, he had a number of children from relationships with slaves you are a descendant of his slave sally hemmings um you t talk about who you think should go because it's fascinating in the place of the jefferson memorial that it should be one of the founding mothers yeah, you know, there are so many people that represent freedom more than Jefferson's actually stood for. He said one thing, but he didn't practice that thing. So you could look at Harriet Tubman. You could look at Sally Hemings. You could look at many of the people that fought for the equal rights and freedom of people to be able to be free in this country and really stood for what it stands for. Or maybe you include all of them and make it just a, an entire shrine to all these people. But I mean, the, the point is people are going to find flaws with people. People are flawed people. And we have to look at those people in their entirety. And that's what history is about. We're not erasing history. We're teaching the full story of what history is and what these people did to and for our country. Lucian, you think Harriet Tubman? Yes, that's what I suggested in the Times. Uh, Harriet Tubman, I call one of the founding mothers of this country. And I think we've paid enough attention to the founding fathers over the years, and it's time to celebrate some of the women that helped found this country. And I describe Harriet Tubman as helping to find, found uh, the America that came along after slavery. Uh, she, uh, she fought to free slaves before the Civil War, she fought during the Civil War on the side of the, uh, the Union as a, uh, as a spy and a scout. And, uh, and, then, and then she fought for the rights of freed, uh, freed slaves after the Civil War. So I think it's time to, to honor her or someone like her in the place of Thomas Jefferson.